Hello, today we're going to take a look at an overview of pregnancy. Pregnancy, sometimes referred to as gestation. And what we're going to do is just going to take a look at this little developing baby in the uterus here in the diagram. Let's just make it a bit bigger so we can see it. And in fact, let's just turn it around so it's the right way for no other reason than we can. Okay, so here's our developing baby inside the uterus or the womb. We call this the fetus. The developing baby is called the fetus. There's a couple more labels that we should know and remember. And these are those labels. And the first one to remember is this reddish area here that I've uh, drawn, and that's called the placenta. That's called the placenta. A tube coming off the placenta is called the umbilical cord, umbilical cord, and the baby is actually in a liquid called amniotic fluid. Amniotic fluid. Let's make a note of these various things. So the baby, or the fetus, should we say, the fetus is the developing baby. That's what we mean by fetus. The placenta has an important role. It provides oxygen for the fetus, provides oxygen, and in fact, other nutrients as well. Nutrients in the food that the mother has eaten. It also has the job of removing any waste produced by the baby. So it provides oxygen and nutrients to the baby and removes waste. For example, carbon dioxide. Remember, the baby is not breathing, so we need carbon dioxide removed via the umbilical cord and something called urea, which produces urine in, normally in children and adults. The umbilical cord, this connects the placenta to the baby, connects the fetus, to the placenta. Slightly different way of putting it. So the umbilical cord connects the fetus to the placenta, nutrients go in and waste products come out. And then finally we have the amniotic fluid. As we said, this is a liquid. It helps to keep the baby's temperature steady, but it also acts as protection, like a shock absorber, if you like. So a liquid that protects the fetus. So the, these are the key parts that we need to know and remember. The other thing is just a note about this idea of gestation. So gestation is the time that the baby is in the womb while it's developing. And the gestation period, the gestation time, is about nine months. It can be a little bit more or a little bit less, but is about nine months in general. And one final thing to add is that while the mother is pregnant with a child, she has to be careful with her diet. She has to be careful with her diet to get the right nutrients, but also lifestyle as well. For example, smoking or alcohol can have a negative, in fact, uh, negative impact on the baby, can be harmful to the baby or the developing fetus. So the mother has to be careful with her uh, lifestyle and the kind of food and nutrients that she takes in. Okay, so slightly shorter than usual video, but these are the key points that we need to know. Don't forget, you can download the template of these notes for you to work along with the video as we go. But that's it for today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.